everybody, so welcome back to the Drangfield Book 1 Let's Play. Last time, we Nerd did the Sneeble dump site and met up with Valencia, she helped him get back the egg, and now he has the egg, but he also has four other dragon eggs. He's so it's shit, so now he needs to take them to Warlock to get them examined to determine which the real dragon egg. So, breakfast with Warlock. With the five identical eggs in hand, you're going to have to figure out how to tell which one is your dragon egg. Twilly suggests you consult the Blue Mage, Warlick, who lives far to the northeast of Falkerich. Maybe he can help you figure out which egg is your dragon egg. Okay. So what does that mean? We're going to go back to the end of travel ourselves. So we can actually go to Twilly and go to Warlick. Five eggs, wowzers. Which one is the real dragon egg? Anna, use the portal and ask Warlick, the mage, to help. Warlick, you have five eggs, which all look like dragon eggs. Use the travel gear riff, I would say gear riff, near the Jardine Tower to visit Warlick. He's a powerful mage who may know the secret about figuring out which of these eggs is the real dragon egg. Okay. So I'm gonna walk there myself because it's not it's not really far. To be honest, it probably takes longer to walk all the way to the Griffin. <laughs> I mean literally it's up here and then this way. So Warlick. Hello friend. Oh. Oh Daggers! I swear this pack could get heavy with every step. Stupid horse eating dragon mumble. Did you say horse eating dragon? Oh, yes. In the mountains surrounding Willowshire dwells this beast and beast. It told Battalion's horses it did. What? That's right. The Guardian don't like to talk about it, but there is a good reason they don't use them mounts along the outer borders of Willowshire. I donated my horses to them to aid their cause, but with every step I regretted more. That is a quest for later. For those of you who are new to the game, or maybe you don't remember this far back, if you go to the timeline, that said, this section here, Willstray Burns, which we need to do the dragon egg first, but let's go do that quest after we get our egg. So, I don't really know which way is to Warlick to be honest, I never really travel this way, but I really like this area, it's quite pretty, and this music is quite nice. One of my favourite tracks of the game. Oh, Warlick's up here, so we got the right way by accident. So, Falkyrie's this way, Limcrest is that way. What's his pool here? I've never actually been up here. Quite a cool experience for me, so this is where the portal would have taken you. Then you just go up here, and then you hear a Warlick. So yeah, <laughs> pretty easy. Interesting, very interesting. I am Warlick, the Blue Mage. Who can I help you, warrior? Dragon Egg. A dragon egg is not a matter to be taken lightly. Let us be swift with this most interesting quest. He doesn't really want to fuck around, Warlick. And I like it, so we have random elements, we have other quests. Save limb quest, this again. I do like to show people just in case you wonder why I'm not clicking on any of them. That took a while to load. So if we go back here, uh, save the limb quest is here. This high line. So just to put things into perspective, I guess you could say. While he's gone, because it's stupid like that. <laughs> there you go. Okay, we also have a weapon shop. Which you have to bring in the elemental essence things. And then, here's some, they look kinda cool. And they're not terrible. 37 to 43 level 20, it's not terrible, but I don't really want any of this. So let's go do Wallach's tent. A dragon egg? 
So you have five eggs and can't tell them apart. Interesting. Please step into the tent and tell me more. Into the tent. Oh yeah, I want to apologize that the video took about five minutes to get started. <laughs> Either way. Wow, this is a lot more roomy than it looks from the outside. I wouldn't have expected these stern walls inside the tent. Oh, why not in a tent? That is just the portal that leads here to my mid shower. We pay a little more for the extra dimensions, but we thought that it would be worth the rent. We? Yes, me and my roommate Cicero. I forgot he's like roommates with Cicero. He's a decent roommate, mostly because he's gone most of the time. Anyway, Twenty told me about how these eggs came into your possession. You've had quite adventures so far. Yeah, that's one way to put it. I have begun doing research on the black and white dragon boxes. The texts are anatomic tense. The texts are ancient and difficult to translate, but it looks bad. If I'm correct, the text said that this egg will hatch the great dragon that will destroy all of law. Explanation mark. <laughs> we may have to be. We may be able to avert this catastrophe, but first we will need to reveal which egg is the true dragon egg. I have a good feeling about this one. Well, we will need a power spell to dispel the illusion. Illusion? I don't see any illusion. Of course not. It's an illusion. All dragon eggs have a natural magic illusion around them that helps protect them. I have to find a spell powerful enough to do counter the dragon magic on the egg. While I do my research, make yourself a home. Feel free to make yourself a snack while you wait. I won't, I won't be very long. I, like, I love this bit, it's funny. Watch the egg that will destroy law carefully. Fix myself a snack. Ten minutes later. <laughs> I always love this bit because it's like your character is quite a, you know, an, an average smart, not smart, but not dumb person. But they often do something really stupid. <laughs> And it's just hilarious to me. I love it. Midnight, I have great news. As it turns out, I believe that you have the egg that will hatch the dragon that will save all of law from the stru- <laughs> Hopefully you got that. <laughs> Don't worry, Wallach. I already handled the problem in my own way. And it's delicious. Want some? Uh, no thank you. So you, uh... Cooked the egg. Yep. You cooked the egg that would have saved the world. And then I ate part of it. You said it was going to destroy the world. You said fix a snack. Quickly. Did the egg taste like honey and mackerel? Ew, nasty. No, it tasted like a normal fried egg. Okay then, that wasn't the dragon egg. One show way to tell if an egg is dragon egg is the taste test. Phew! So did you find a spell that can tell us which is the real egg without tasting it? Unfortunately, no. The magic is very strong. We will have to summon a creature that feeds on dragon eggs to dispel the illusion for us. I'll need your help here. The ancient term of the summoning, of summoning, lies high in my tower. Behind a barrier that I cannot pass. Oh, some sort of magical force field that you can't penetrate. Not exactly. The term is on Cicero's half of the tower. You see, his insane experiments and dirty laundry were driving me nuts. So we painted a yellow line separating his half from mine. Well, Ick, that isn't a very mature solution. Think so? Let's see if you feel the way out. Fighting past his magical accidents and filthy enchanted laundry. Complete quest. An attempt to save your world, you cooked the dragon egg that you thought was a dragon egg. Luckily, what? You cooked an egg 
that you thought was the dragon egg. Luckily, you were wrong. Don't know why that was so hard for me to read. Alright, so the next one, the tome. You must re-enter my mage tower and recover the tome of summoning from the most upper floor. Uppermost floor. <laughs> Note. There are only four now. At least you aren't hungry anymore. <laughs> kind of like rubbed in your face a little bit to tell you that you're a fucking idiot for cooking it. A sideways window? <laughs> I knew that's what I was about to say. I've done this quest that many times, you see. Anyway. Oh, he's actually weak to water. That's pretty cool. This weapon is really useful. <laughs> I'm getting some good uh, use out of this. And it looks really cool as well. Laundry golem. Also eat the water. You wouldn't have thought like a laundry golem would be weak to water. Because these things are like, I don't know, it's like dirty. Oh yeah, because dirty laundry, wa that makes sense. Dirty laundry is cleaned when wet. Well, not literally, but like, if you wash it, it gets wet. And then it also cleans. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Right. Okay, water and good thing. Water isn't a resistance. Thank you very much, my friend. But you big bitch. He looks very happy. Or very shocked. Sad to tell, but either way, he's not gonna wake up from that anytime soon. I don't think die. Right in the face. I'm taking a little bit of a beating, aren't I? These bugs keep rearranging themselves. I guess they like to be messy. Did I just try fixing them, sort sorting them out? <laughs> you said that doesn't really well it does make sense, but I don't see why I would do that to Cicero's Bookshelf. I just go to be like, these books are not in the right order. I know this because I'm a nerd. This one heals me. There you go. Ah, the healing power of books. Ooh, three potions. I have never noticed that. Wow. Okay. You learn something new every day, they always say. Your hand passes through the handle. Weird. Behind the door, you hear. That makes sense. Orbs asking each other if they want to buy weapons. Awesome. Ah, the window isn't sideways. You are. You're running up the inside of the wall of the tower. That also doesn't make sense because why would there be a carpet on the wall? And why are all these pots like down here? Unless they're glued to the floor. Glued to the wall. And does that mean all these enemies are like... Defying laws of gravity. Or they have like, um, gravity boots on or something. Some shit like that. Fuck off. Alright, this guy is a bit of a bigger one, I think, so I'm gonna. Wow. You don't realize how bad your potions are until you drink one. <laughs> I really hate upgrading them. It's like, it's one of the worst things about this game. I think. I know it sounds very trivial, but it's also true as well. It's like so boring. It's like you can farm gold off farm XP in this game. And at least you're getting like a nice reward from it because you're leveling up. You're getting loads of gold, but I don't know. If you, if you do the potions, yes, it's useful, but it does not feel like you're getting rewarded. Because <laughs> they take so long to farm as well. It's like... I think per level you push to heal like 2 more HP. So it's like right now they heal like 100. If I level them up they'll heal like 102. And then 104, then 6, then 8. Maybe, I think it's how it works anyway. Oh, they go up by like 2. So shit. <laughs> if they end up by like 10 or something, it'd be much easier to farm and it'd still take a long time. And it'd still be boring, it just won't be that bad. After discovering that you were not walking along the hallway, but in fact walking sideways up the tower, and to carefully fighting your way past Cicero's accidental creations and enchanted piles of dirty laundry, you have found the spellbook. 
Why would Cicero have a spell book? I mean, he's a weird guy, but I know it feels like Wally could learn the spell book. Oh, wait, that's not potions. I need a couple of potions, don't I? Thank you. They're very laggy all of a sudden. Whoa! I did not click that. Anyway, so strings of flame. We must summon an unspeaking blee powerful creature to determine which egg is the right one. Summon it. I require several regions. One. Bag of fire yarn. Venture into the fire cave north of here and see if you can find a bag of fire yarn. Go. The fire yarn is actually uh, probably one of the harder ones to get but also not too hard. So to get the bag of fire yarn we're going to go here and up here. <laughs> In this foot cave part. It's in here, basically. And since we have a water weapon, even better. I love this weapon. Water is a really good element to have in the, at least in the early game. I don't know how it's going to work later because, well, I do know what the game happens. That makes sense. I do know what is coming next, but. I can't remember if water is a really good element. I know it's going to be inside fire based enemies, but I don't know, since I got this weapon, it's been really helpful. There are the bags in very short distance away, staring me in the face. In front of these really weak ass blobs. Multi stack should clean them up. Nice, nice. Nice, but not dead. Kaboom. 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 I love doing that. It's satisfying. <laughs> oh yeah, plot spoiled the bag. You found a secret note in the bag. It is burned and some of the letters I had to read. It says... Um, I can't remember what this is actually. I used to know what this meant. It's something like someone is not who he says he is or some shit, I don't know. can't remember. Something like that. We found a bag of fire yarn. There you go. Now what we could do is we could do the rest of the quest. You can keep going further in here. Which you might do is a good for XP. And we'll only get through it in like a couple of minutes because we're doing so much damage to these enemies. We kind of, we're kind of ripping our way through them. So it should only take a couple of minutes, so we might even get a level up out of it. Maybe. If not, we'll be very close. Oh, it's a big boss battle time. Right, these guys are really weak, I think, yeah. We'll get a defend just because once we get the multi, it'll just destroy. Can I we try and kill him with poo? No. The only way it would have killed me is if he critted. If that was a crit, nine power. Attack, I would have been very happy indeed. Kaboom. Oh. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. We'll let Pooh kill this one then. Uh, one more hit, and then he should be done for. That's really annoying. <laughs> Quite satisfying when you just like multi and take out the little guys in like one hit. <laughs> but nope. Too good to be true. At least Pooh can do it instead. It can be helpful for a change. But he's actually a decent pet. Uh, well, for this level anyway. You have braved the heat and come out with the near side of a mountain of only scythe toasted. Is that Benny hair you smell? Uh, Filgree Cutlass, level 14. That's actually a decent weapon. Okay. We haven't got a uh, leveled fire weapon, so when we get to level 14, that'll actually be pretty good. 14, 26, 30, 33 to 35. Wait a sec. I don't know, that's 25. Um, what is the level 17? Yeah, that's all better, the level 17. 38, 46. Yeah, it's a decent, a decent weapon for level 14. Yeah, it looks a bit cool as well, a little bit. Okay, nice. Good thing we completed it, I guess. 
Anyway, back to Wally. Look how close we were from getting a level up. <laughs> Alright, run dickhead. Next. The creature we are summoning is incredibly dangerous. Let's see. I still cry with several more regions. Go to the earth cave to the east. It's a dirty job, but you must defeat a stone head boss and take his rubble. Okay. Sounds good. I think that's this way then. No, it's not. Is it, it says east, but it means like east and then down. I think it's this one. Nope, that's the waterfall. <laughs> Maybe east actually and then down here. I know it's not in there because that's forest. Yeah, I think it's this way. I believe not actually. How about this way? Come on. Yes. See, it's like east and then north. So it's not the most explanatory. Right, Death Beetle, what do you like? Wind, okay. Fine for us. It's only 59 health as well, sir. He's not very powerful. Oh, we just to kill these two. And then we get a level up. I actually forgot to spend the stats from the uh, last time we leveled, but hey, we got two now. I'll hopefully remember to do them at the end of this video. If not, um, bugger me. We'll eventually remember to do them. And when we do, it'll be really cool because we'll get like a nice amount of stats. Extra. Be okay. Level up. Level 12. It takes a while to start. The game between 10 and 20 takes quite a while, but then when you get to 20, it's kind of like smooth sailing because you get triple XP. Um, when you just have 20. It's, 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 it's the way they did it to scale up um, just how long it takes to get to level 90 because level 90 is a hell of a grind and when, when the game first came out the level 90 was down for the cap it used to cap at like well I can't remember all the caps to be honest I never really got to the caps when I was playing this game when I was very early on playing this game this episode has already been going off for over half an hour. And don't get me wrong, I'm cutting quite a bit of it out, but I really want to finish up the Warlock section in one video. It'll do, it's just bad for pacing. If I stop right now, and then start recording again, the vid next video will be like 10 minutes long. So, I think it's better to do it all in one video, and it kind of works better for structure. Uh, but it's kind of annoying that the game's throwing these Three and the one go. The game really wants to take a while, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of annoying, but yeah, fighting three of these guys takes time. There's Dickhead, and he's got a bag next to him. <laughs> It'll be weird, but okay. Wind minus fifty. Okay, nice. Uh, oh, yeah, we have this now. Self twenty bonus, which just means my attacks won't miss. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, well, we can miss, but there's less chance. As you can see, bonus 23. Bonus to hit is hit chance, basically. I already said that, but uh, yeah. The stat, the, this game's a bit annoying sometimes because a lot of the stats and the mechanics doesn't really explain. Like, it doesn't explain what boost is. It doesn't explain what bonus is. Obviously, your boost is like how much damage, you know, if you have an attack that boosts your damage, makes you do more damage. And then bonus is bonus to hit, so it's hit chance. I thought I had this thing called hit chance. <laughs> oh well, it's beyond me, I guess. Either way, come on, dickhead, drop your stone. Thank you, he buried himself in the ground. You have found the instructable litter. Yeah. Bronze deck. That's actually a really powerful dagger, but not good for me. Alright then, so. Ron, you're all wet. I fear the creature we summon may be too difficult to control. Just in case you should get a weapon. Uh, what the fuck am I saying? Just in case 
you should get the powerful water weapon. Already have one. Travel to the southern waterfall and bring back a bag of salmon. Okay, so the salmon is... Well, it's actually really easy to get. We just have to go down here. And here. Bag of salmon. That was sort of... Fuck. There's a sword there. I just wondered if you could get her. I was wondering, wondering if you could just grab that sword. Kind of weird I was just a sword there. You can't, uh go over to it. Right, so that was pretty easy. Easy quest. Good for us then, we can... Sh the video's not so long. And this one as well. We just need one more thing to summon the wind... The monster that will show us which egg is the dragon egg. Hmm. Wind nip. Wind elementals cannot get enough of this stuff. Search the wind cave to the north. Okay. You're on it. You've got it, I mean. I'm on it. You've got it. Asshole. There it is. You found a bag of wind nip. I want to place that there. <laughs> you know, there's some guy who just like came along. Said, oh, this bag of wind nip is too heavy. And he placed it on the ground and then someone just... And he's like, I'll come back for later. And someone just steals it. You were real sad. The summoning. We already have... Are we... We are ready to summon the monster who can determine the egg. I must warn you again. This is extremely dangerous. Summertime. Hold on, Hera. You've got the wind... Fire yarn, the structural litter, the salmon and the wind nip. Everything that we will need to pull this monster from the world into our own. We are ready to begin the spell. Remember, this creature is very dangerous and feasts on dragon eggs. It will sniff the eggs and it will begin to dispel the dragon illusion when it finds which egg is a real one. Once it has unveiled the true dragon egg, you will have to step in and banish the beast back to its own plane. Otherwise, it'll divide with the egg. Got it. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Meow. The little cute cat. Oh, it's so cute. Do not be fooled by the Doom Kitten's appearance. It only assumes this form to... The Doom Kitten? I won't tug it. Just... Just let it pick an egg. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Mew. There. It shows an... It's egg. It shows an and egg. And it's beginning to dispel the illusion. Quickly. Banish it. Yeah, this is probably the hardest fight in the game so far. Maybe that battle. That, that one was quite difficult. In the fire war. Not fire war. In the Wallach Wrath of Zan. I mean... But yeah. What you can do... Is do this the lowest damage? Okay, it's very weak to water. Minus two hundred, so we can just do double the damage, and it's actually making this fight into a very easy one. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. See, this wall weapon is the best. I have not been. I don't think I've ever been that lucky with the weapon drop. Obviously, these are a way to find water weapons if you get to the Guardian Tower and do this stuff there, but I just got it without having to do that, so that was amazing. That was the fastest I've ever killed that thing, I think. Um, completed. You saved the dragon egg from being eaten by the Doom Kitten, and now you know which is the real egg. Once it seems that like you have found a safe place for it, it will drop its illusion and show its true form. Thank you, Wallach. You've been a very big help, my man. And now, the egg. We did it. While it would, while I would love to study your egg further, you should return to Twilly and find a safe place to hide the egg until it hatches. Yes. We gonna do this, or should we end it here? Let me have a look at the book real quick. I really like this area. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, the Arachna attack and the hatching, so 
I think we'll leave it here and maybe next video will be a little bit short. I know that's kind of shit, but oh well, it has to be done. And this video is already gone on for like 40 minutes. Uh, nice to edit it down, so even worse for me. One thing I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna grab these two levels. I could do it the other vid next video to kind of um. Is it this guy or yeah, it's. Good to the next video, but I'll probably forget. Uh, let me go do the strength. I don't really like doing strength this early because it's kind of got a little bit of diminishing returns. But we need to get leveled at some point, don't we? So, must well do it now. Either way, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.